Hi guys, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Well, as you know, my name is Alejandro Narbona. And on behalf of the English Corporativo, I want to say welcome to another class. Okay. So, Johnny, Roberto, and Blanca, thank you very much for being here today. Now, today we have a kind of a busy class, so we can work a lot with conversation. Okay. So, let's get it ready. And let me share the screen with you okay so go ahead and read with me please lesson objective lesson objective very good in this lesson participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using wh question words as well as statements in this lesson participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using wh questions words as well as statements with question words as well as statements 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 good so en esta clase los participantes escucharán una conversación acerca de trabajos usando pronombres y adverbios interrogativos es prácticamente lo que hemos un poquito de lo que hemos estado viendo so Let's go ahead and pay attention to this. This conversation is called, Where Do You Work? Please mute your microphones and listen to the conversation. Just one moment, please. Still loading. Hi, everyone. Welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Part-time job. Alrighty, guys, so let's go ahead and practice this conversation a little bit so we can get used to WH words, okay? So repeat after me, please. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you, Where work, do you Andrea? work, Andrea? Mm -hmm. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work, I work at, at Thomas, Thomas Cook Travel. 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 Good. In this one, guys, we're going to say, I work cut. Vamos a linkearlo, vamos a unirlo. I work at. I work at. I work. I work at. Mm -hmm. Thomas. 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 Mm -hmm. Cook. 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 Tra mm -hmm. Travel. 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 Good. Oh really? Oh really? Oh really? Oh really? What do you do oh, there? Oh really? What do you, what do, do, you there? do there? Uh -huh. What do you do there? Va a sonar un poquito como que waru, waru. Waru do. Waru there. you. Ah, uh, what, what do you? Uh -huh. What do you do there? What do you what do there? Do you there? Good, very good. I'm a guide. I'm a guide. I'm a guide. Hi. Guide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, good. En esta vamos a fijarnos un poquito en los ending sounds porque estoy escuchando a Magai como que ustedes dicen esto. A Magai, soy un chico, right? Entonces estamos dejando abierto el sonido y no estamos haciendo el fonema de la letra D. Ok, so prácticamente tenemos que decirlo algo así. Like guide. 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 Uh -huh. guide. Exactly. Guide. Yep, that's right. You see? Big difference. Good job. Again, I'm a guide. I'm a guide. I'm a guide. I'm a guide. I am 
I'm a guide. Good job. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. I, I take, take people, people on tours to, to countries, countries in South America, America. South America like Peru. America like Peru. Peru. How interesting. How interesting. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I it's agree. a great job. Yo. Yo. You can say yes or you can say yeah, but yeah is like more yeah. natural, more informal, right? So yes, it's a great job. Yes, it's a yes, great it's job. Yes, it's a great job. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a great, great e job. Yes, e yes, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly. Estaba un poquito como la I al principio porque escuché mucha, mucha Y, G, G, muy vibrada. Okay. Tiene que ser yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Aquí vamos a unirlo también. We're going to link it as well. It's a, it's a great job. It's a, it's a great it's job. It's a great job. Job. Great job. Que suena la B. Job. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Job. I love it. I, I love, love it. it. Mm -hmm. Nuevamente lo unimos. We link it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Good. And what do you do? And what, what do, you do? do you do? And what do you do? What do, and and what what do, do you do? do? I'm a student. I'm a I'm student. A student. Mm -hmm. Again, vamos a unirlo. I'm a student. I'm a, I'm I'm a, a student. student. I'm, I'm a student. I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. And I have, I have a part-time job, part job, mm -hmm. job too. And I have a. And I have and a. I have a. And I and have, I have a, a. I have a. Part-time job too. Part-time part job, part job too. Good. Oh, where do you work? Oh, oh where, oh, where, do, you where work? do you work? In a fast food restaurant. In a fast, In a food, fast, food, food, fast restaurant. food restaurant. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, this one, guys, you are not going to pronounce the A or the U. We're going to eliminate that and we're going to say restaurant. 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 Mm -hmm. Restaurant. Generalmente, guys, cuando tenemos eh, palabras que tienen tres sílabas o más, como rest, Tau, rant, vamos a, y, y la fuerza de voz está en la primera, porque no decimos restaurant, ¿verdad? Decimos restaurant. So, la fuerza de voz está en la primera. Generalmente, vamos a eliminar el sonido de la siguiente vocal. So, por ejemplo, aquí, como les mencionaba, restaurant. No decimos restaurant, right? Restaurant. 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 Another example Restaurant. will be, this is another example, family. No vamos a decir family. We go and we say, es como una E, pero no es E, like family. Directamente de la M a la L. All right. This is another example. So we say family. Family. Mm -hmm. family. Restaurant. 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 Another one, we don't say chocolate or chocolate, we say chocolate. 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 Mm -hmm. Cho chocolate. Chocolate. O también algunos dicen chocolate con la, con la I. Chocolate. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yo prefiero decirlo sin la I. Pero me van entendiendo eso que si tienen tres o más sílabas, fa, mi, li, Cho, co, light. Esto tiene más, ¿verdad? Vamos a eliminar la, la segunda sílaba. ¿Está claro esto? Okay. Okay. Yes. En la mayoría yes. de las palabras, most of the words, en las que el estrés esté en la primera y tengan tres o más sílabas. All right? En la mayoría de. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger heaven. Hamburger heaven. Heaven. Hay que hacer vibrar esta. Heaven. 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 Here. Heaven. Acá. Heaven. 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 
estoy, estoy escuchando Herpen. mucha B, como mucha B de boy. Tiene que ser he ven Heaven. Heaven. Hagamos vibrar la B chica. Heaven. 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 All right. So let's go ahead and do it again, guys, and faster. The reason why I'm asking you to do there, this is for you to get used to linking sounds, all right? Linking, um, I'm sorry, linking sounds, final sounds, and the, the phonemes, all right? Siempre trato de que lean para que mejoremos la pronunciación, okay? So let's do it faster. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work I at Thomas Cook Travel. Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, oh really? really? What do you do there? there? Mm -hmm. I'm a guide. I'm a, I'm a guide. I'm a guide. I'm a guide. Buen trabajo con la, con la de ahí. Good. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. I, I, take, I take people, take people, on, people tours on tours to countries, to countries in, South in South America, like, like Peru. Peru. How interesting. How interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's, it's a great job. job. No, I love it. And what, and do, you I, do? what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. I'm a uh, student yes. and I have a part-time part job too. too. Oh, where do you work? Oh, where, oh, do, you where work? do you work? In a fast food restaurant. In a, in a fast food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Which, which, which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger, Hamburger Heaven. Heaven. All right, very good. So, something that I want to mention here, guys. You have the WH questions, right? Before we watch the video, what do you think is the structure for WH questions in Simple Present? ¿Cuál creen que es la estructura? The WH questions. What is this? Job. I'm sorry? WH question plus... What are... How do you say plus, donde? Where. Where. Mm -hmm. Where. ¿Cuándo? When. When. ¿Por qué? Why. 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 When, mm -hmm. why, so, why? donde, cuando, por qué, qué, what, what? what? Mm -hmm. very good, qué otras hay, In which, who, 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 who? 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 Mm -hmm. who? which, que es como cuál, who mm -hmm. es quién, which is cuál, where, ajá, uh -huh. we have it here, where, which, ajá, uh -huh. right here, how do you say a qué hora? What, what time? time? What time? Time. Mm -hmm. time. 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 How do you say time. como? How. 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 Exactly. How. Now, how no termina con WH. No empieza con WH, pero es parte de este grupo. All right? Okay. So, these are going to be the WH words. And uh, if you see here, what is the structure? Mm. W H W H plus, plus then, auxiliar. Aha, uh -huh. auxiliary what? Or do, do or do, does. Do or does, correct. Or does. Does. Mm -hmm. Subject. Subject. Aha. Uh -huh. Plus. Plus verb. Verb. Exactly. Simple. What kind of verb? Simple. Um, simple. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's call it base. Verbo base. Verb base. Plus. Complement. Complement and question mark. And question mark, correct. So en un examen, guys, nunca, nunca, nunca olviden el question mark porque se las van a poner malas. Yo se las pondría malas. All right. So when do we use do? What subjects? ¿Qué sujetos ocupamos con do? When you. When the, I use. I. Uh -huh. You, I, you, we, you, we, they, they, it does, it, it, 
Mm -hmm. He, she, it. She, it's. He, she, it. So guys, esta, uh, we have to memorize it. All right, simple as that. This one has to be memorized. I do, you do, we do, they do, he does, she does, he does. Okay? Now, um, algo que les quiero mencionar, guys, es que si nosotros ocupamos el auxiliar does, el verbo ya no va a llevar la S. Okay? So, en preguntas en negativa, siempre en simple present, el verbo va a estar en base. Solamente en afirmativo es que lo vamos a cambiar con tercera persona. Okay? Okay. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and continue with this. And let's move to the next. So read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson. 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 Participants will be able to under, aquí hay, un, uh, aquí hay un error. Esto se llama typo, guys. Cuando se nos va una letra, que sea de más o menos, se llama typo. So I will typo. Have, uh, uh -huh. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Participants will be able to understand and use a simple present. Very good. So, al finalizar la clase, los participantes serán capaces de entender y usar el presente simple. Presente simple. Mm -hmm. Good. So, let's go ahead and mute the, your microphones. Let's go ahead and work with this. I'm going to mute mine too. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does. Goes. Has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you notice the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Studies. All right, very good guys. So this is gonna be the simple present WH questions and statements, okay? Now, I want you to please pay attention to the to the structure. Let's bring it back here. And let's go ahead and compare, all right? WH, what, where, 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 what, and how. Si se fijan, en toda la primera parte, tenemos WH. Then we have do or does. Do, 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 
does, does, does. ¿Por qué tenemos do? Porque estamos ocupando you. you. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué tenemos dos acá? Porque estamos ocupando Andrea, que es lo sí. mismo que decir she. Aquí puede ser he también o it. Y siempre sería does. And then, that's the subject. And then we have the verb in base. Do, work, go. Work, do, like. Plus complement, que solo tenemos complement acá. And all of them with a question mark. Is the structure clear, guys? Tenemos clara la estructura? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. So, algo que les quiero... Eh, esta clase va a ser de, de, de bastante teoría, guys, porque el simple present es una de las que generalmente tiene más confusiones. Como es de las primeras eh, tenses que vemos, es donde tenemos que cambiar prácticamente el chip, el cassette. All right? So, these are questions, WH questions. Now, what about sentences or statements? What do you think is the structure? ¿Qué estructura viene acá? Para afirmativo. Sí, yes. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think is the structure? Uh, ¿Qué tenemos so primero? Subject. Subject. Mm -hmm. Subject. Verb base. Aha. Uh -huh. Verb base. Mm. Plus. Complement. Plus complement. Correct. Now, ¿qué, ¿qué pasa, guys, con el verbo cuando tenemos tercera persona? Mm. Change. Mm -hmm. It changes. All right. Mm. So. Let's go ahead and Google this. So we can say, um, so you can have the rules right here. Y aquí lo estoy googleando, guys, como cualquiera de ustedes lo puede hacer en casa. And here it is. I don't know why for the last couple of days, internet has been very slow. Okay, ya lo vamos a revisar. So, if you notice here, in the conversation, we have work, works. ¿Cuál es el cambio? Works. Se le agrega una S, ¿verdad? Una Para S. he, she, or it. Take. Una S. Una e S. Takes. Mm -hmm. takes. We add an S. Study. Studies. Eh, la terminación IES. Mm -hmm. Y se elimina la Y. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this one, guys, is going to be because we have consonant and Y. Consonante Consonant. Plus y. So okay. for example, if we have the, the verb play. ¿Cuál sería la tercera persona de play? Plays. ¿Esta? ¿Sería esta? Mm. ¿O sería esta? ¿La primera o la segunda? Mm -hmm. Could you please put picture in the Porque pueden ver ahorita el chat que estoy ocupando, ¿no? Aquí en la, en la pantalla. No. Oh. No, no se mira. No se no. ve. Mm. Give me a second. Pueden ver el cursor que tengo. Estoy moviendo el cursor. Sí. sí. Se debería de ver el chat también, pero bueno. Sí, yo lo veo. Ok. Vaya, guys. Se los voy a poner en el chat. Miren el chat ahorita. Ah, ok. Sí. Ok. Entonces, acá si ustedes pueden ver play, tenemos play es para la i, o tenemos plays, que solo se le agrega la i. What happens here, guys, is that we have play, it is vowel and consonant. Es vocal más y. Por eso solo se le agrega la, la s. 
y study, si ustedes se fijan, es consonante más Y, consonant plus Y. That's why we remove the Y and we add I, E, S. ¿Ok? Nuevamente, si tenemos consonante más Y, en tercera persona de este verbo, le quitamos la Y y le ponemos I, E, S. Ok. Uh -huh. nice. Y play se los ponía así porque play va, es vocal más Y, para que ustedes vean que ahí solo le ponen la S. Ok. All right. Okay. The, the next one. Teach. What is the Teach. what is the change? Teaches. Teaches. Exactly. Teaches. Mm -hmm. So, do. What is the change? Does. 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 Le agregamos es. Go. ¿Cuál es el cambio? Yes. Goes. Las, goes. Exactly. Le agregamos goes. es. So, si ustedes pueden ver acá, ch o le ponemos es. And then we have have, that is has. These are irregular verbs. Okay? That prácticamente son terceras personas irregulares. So, okay. si vamos acá, este link se los voy a mandar por medio del chat para que ustedes puedan darle seguimiento. So you can follow up. Y lo pueden googlear. Así. Esto es algo que yo googleé justo enfrente de ustedes para que vean que, que se puede encontrar. So, if you see here, let me enlarge it. Most verbs in English form the third person singular by adding S to the base form. So, say it with me, please. Sings. Sings. He sings. He sings every day. He sings, he sings every, every day. day. Gives, gives, gives. She gives, gives love. She gives love to everyone. She gives love she to gives everyone. Love everyone. Requires. 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 Mm -hmm. It requires a lot of effort. It requires a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. It requiere effort. mucho esfuerzo. So then we have. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yes. Verbs ending in. C H S S H S H X or Z or C form the third person singular adding E S or the third person singular by adding E S. So, cualquier verbo, guys, adding E S en forma base que ustedes vean que termina en S S H X O Z. Uh -huh. Aquí nos falta la O también. Se les pone ES. Falta que pongan la O acá. Uh -huh. So, for example, my dad watches TV. My watch. My, my dad, dad watches TV. Uh -huh. My watches dad TV. watches TV. So, watch watches. What watches? Uh -huh. My son misses school. My son misses school. Misses. Misses. Mm -hmm. School. School. Mi hijo extraña la escuela. Gran mentira, pero es un buen ejemplo. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Next one, rush, es como apurarse, right? So. Rush. Rush es apurarse. Mm -hmm. My dad rushes me when I'm late. My dad rushes. Mm -hmm. Rushes me. Mi papá me apura cuando rushes. voy tarde. Oh, okay. What is rushes? Rush es como apurar. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Mix es mezclar, right? Mezclar, mix. Mm -hmm. Let me see. My sister mixes my, my socks. Mi hermana mezcla mis calcetas. My sister mixes my socks. My sister mixes my socks. My socks. My socks. My socks. Mm -hmm. Very good. Buzz es como sonar, haciendo un zumbido. Um, Buzz. It buzzes all night long. It buzzes, it buzzes all night long. My all Lord. night long. All, all night long. Night long. Mm -hmm. All night long. Very good. Now, the other one is, guys, verbs ending in consonant plus Y, such as try, Form the third person singular by changing the Y to I and adding ES. 
This is what we were uh, saying. Que si tiene consonante más Y, le damos en la NEC a la Y y la cambiamos por IES. ¿Ok? okay. So, no podemos poner TRAYES y dejamos la Y. Tenemos que cambiarla por una Y. Now, here, for example, we have HAVE and HAS. Este cambia. ¿Ok? DO does go goes es que les decía que faltaba la o acá so in the meantime guys do you have any questions tenemos algunas preguntas acerca de esto no no claro como la abuela hace el guate uh -huh. Hay right. que practicar. Exactly. and that's what we're gonna do today miren cómo lo hago simplemente Third person, que es lo que estamos haciendo. Exercises, enter en Google. Aquí es donde es, uh, tenemos que ser un poco proactivos, guys. We gotta be proactive. And uh, vamos a esco uh, escoger cualquiera. Vamos con, con este. Let's choose this one. Generalmente son de selección multiple, multiple choice, or for us to write them down. All right, so here, my brother, my brother speaks, my brother speaks, speaks, ¿qué le agregamos? S. S. Okay, good. Daniel, watches, 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 watches. Uh -huh. Jennifer, watches, 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 Ryan, goes, Go. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. My sister does. 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 Good. No hemos visto todavía el, el, el negativo, pero me imagino que ya lo conocen, ¿no? So, aquí les voy a dar doesn't like. Mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Doesn't like. Uh, doesn't like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ya, ya lo vamos a ver, que eso todavía no lo hemos visto antes del ejercicio. So, in order for us to do it right now, ya que vimos tercera persona, guys, let's go ahead and cover the negative. The structure of negative will be um, para... Give me a second. She does, doesn't, does or do, plus... Not plus your base plus complement. So, en esta guys, cuando es negativa, I don't play soccer. He doesn't play soccer. Ok, es lo que les estaba mencionando. Vamos a poner el doesn't or el don't. Y si es tercera persona, el verbo siempre va a ir en base. Ok, so let's keep on practicing right here. Your uncle mm -hmm. para negativo y work. Anybody? Doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work. Yo le pongo doesn't, guys, pero se puede poner eh, does not. Ah. Mm -hmm. Does not. El problema es que alguien nativo no les va a decir he does not do it, simplemente lo van a linkear, he doesn't do it. Ok. Para pregunta. Does Sara uh -huh. Does Sara Does Sara Want to go with us? Want o wants? ¿Cuál de los dos? Want, because want. Sasha verbo out, you know? Exactly. We're not going to use the S because we already have it here. Okay? Now, la explicación no va así, guys, pero yo siempre se la he explicado así a mis estudiantes. Solo necesitamos una S. Okay? okay? Nuevamente, no es que así vaya la explicación, yo así lo explico. Solo necesitamos una S y si ya la tiene el auxiliar, no se la ponemos al verbo. Okay? Ah, okay. Very good. Next one. It's another question. 
Andreas, Andreas, and Andrea. Enjoy yes, Andrea. Uh -huh. Does Andrea enjoy or enjoys? Enjoy. 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 Okay, very good. Ya tenemos la S en el 2. Ajá. Lía. Teachers. Teachers. Teachers, ¿verdad? Termina en CH, le ponemos Teachers. la S. S. Jessica. Kisses. 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 Exactly. Finishes in S, we add ES. Paul. Paul. Yeah. Doesn't play. Doesn't play. Doesn't play. Doesn't play. Ya lleva la S. Ya lleva la S. Clara. Sing. 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 Sings. So, prácticamente Sings. a todo lo que no sean las reglas que hemos ocupado, pongámosle S. S. Uh -huh. She always. Always. Carries. Carries. Uh -huh. con, ah. I, con Y. K. No. K. E. S. No. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. All right, very good. Because we have consonant and Y. He never. Calls. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep. My uncle. Doesn't talk. Doesn't talk. Doesn't talk. Acá explotado. Talk. Doesn't talk. Doesn't talk. Mm. Talk. Va con el, con el schwa. No abrimos la boca para la A ni para la O. Solo bajamos la mandíbula. Talk, 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 talk. Okay, very good. Next one. Mm -hmm. That's a question. Does she cook? Does she cook well? Does she cook well? Cook. Correct. Next one. Ahí ya no se le pone la S porque ya la lleva el auxiliar. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next one. Does he drive? Does he drive? Correct. Drive. Remember that Does we have the structure. Drive. Para que ustedes puedan, siempre les recomiendo tener la estructura a la par para que vayan. Aquí. Eh, pretty much, vamos a quitarle la WH. Does he drive? All right. Uh, my son never... My son Listen. listens. 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 Okay. Your baby cries. Cries. Con Y o y Latina? Sí. Latina. Okay. Very good. So, as you can see, guys, you have done a, a, a fantastic job. Ahora, here we're going to have with the questions, questions, questions. Here. Does Sara want to come with us? ¿Quiere venir Sara con nosotros? Vamos a ocupar las WH words. Ok. So, just recap. ¿Pueden ver la ventana del chat en la pantalla? Sí. Ya, yeah, sí. Blanca. Ok, good. Sí, lo veo. So, how do you say? Bueno, esta, ¿dónde, dónde quiere Sara venir con nosotros? Está muy extraña. Pero... Si se puede hacer, where does Sara want to come with us? So, lo único que hacemos es ponerle el WH al principio de la versión. How do you say, ¿cuándo quiere Sara venir con nosotros? Ah, ok. How do you say that in English? Where How does do Sara... Say? When. Ajá, uh -huh. when does Sara want to come with us? Díganlo conmigo, say with me. When does Sara want to come with us? When does, Sarah when does Sarah come coming with us? Yes, come with us. us. ¿Por qué quiere Sara venir con nosotros? Why Sara? When Sarah why does want to come with us? Podemos poner what does Sara want to come with us? No. No, nope, no. No podemos poner esto. No pega simplemente el contexto. Who does Sara want to come with us? Tampoco, ¿verdad? No. Which? Tampoco. ¿A qué no. hora quiere Sara venir con nosotros? Yes. Esta yes. sí, ¿verdad? Say with me. What time does Sara want to come with us? Say with me. What time? What time, time does Sara? Does Sara? Wanna? 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 
prácticamente la, una, una manera contraída de decir want to. Wanna come with us. Wanna come with us. Wanna come with us. How does Sarah wanna come with us? How does Sarah wanna come with us? Does. Does that. Sarah wanna come with us. Mm -hmm. Tenemos otra acá. Does Andre enjoy pop music? How do you say, donde disfruta Andre la música pop? Where does... When does ¿Dónde? Andre enjoy yeah. pop music? Uh -huh. pop Where, music. Does... Where does Andre, vamos a ponerlo Where? acá, enjoy pop music? ¿Cuándo disfruta Andre la música pop? Uh, enjoy. Mm, enjoy. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo disfruta does... Andre la música pop? When does Andrea enjoy pop music? Ahí está, when does. So, prácticamente, guys, lo único que hacemos es ponerle la, la WH word al principio de la yes, no question, y eso nos cambia todo el significado. ¿Por qué Andrea disfruta la música pop? Why does André enjoy pop music? Um, si queremos poner who, ¿con quién? Who does André enjoy Pop music with. Aquí hacemos una pequeña modificación. Como no sabemos con quién, le vamos a poner with al final. Who does Andre enjoy pop music, music with. with? Lo pongo en mayúscula para que vean lo que he agregado, pero no es que vaya en mayúscula. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Very good. ¿A qué, hora, ¿A qué hora disfruta Andre la música pop? Um, what time? What uh, time does Andre uh, enjoy uh, pop, pop music? music. Exactly. ¿Cómo disfruta Andre la música pop? Uh, how does how Andre does enjoy Andre pop music? Pop music. Ahí está. Very good. Ya ven, ya empezaron a hacerlo un poquito más rápido. Eh, con el inglés, guys, todo es um, acerca de identificar la estructura, los patrones, y ahí todo es bajada. ¿Ok? Vamos a ocupar esta. Does he drive carefully? Maneja cuidadosamente. ¿Dónde maneja cuidadosamente? Eh, ¿Dónde? Where does he Where drive carefully? Where does he drive carefully? Exactly. Where does he drive carefully? ¿Cuándo maneja cuidadosamente? When. Mm -hmm. When does he drive carefully? Carefully. ¿Por qué maneja cuidadosamente? Why, Why does he drive he carefully? Drive ¿Con quién maneja cuidadosamente? Who's, who does he who drive, does he drive, drive, drive carefully. carefully with? With, exactly. El with al final. Excellent. Good job. Um, ¿A qué hora maneja cuidadosamente? What time? What mm -hmm. time, time does he drive, drive carefully. carefully? Careful. Very good. Ahora, guys, what we're going to do is the following. Um, I need you to ask me questions that you would normally ask to someone you just met. Okay. Necesito que me hagan preguntas que ustedes le preguntaran a alguien que acaban de conocer. O digamos que es un amigo que no han visto en años. No lo han visto desde que salieron del colegio. ¿Qué preguntas le harían a ese amigo? Um, Where do you live? Ajá, uh -huh. where do you live? ¿Qué más? Eh, How do you say qué? ¿Qué haces? What, what do you do? Ajá, uh -huh. what do you do? What do you do? Le podemos, for a living, what do you do for a living es, ¿qué haces para vivir? Es lo mismo que, where do you work? ¿Con quién vives? Eh, what? Who do you live with? Who do you live, Who do you live with? Mm -hmm. with. With. ¿Qué otra pregunta le podemos hacer? Um, ¿Dónde estudias inglés? Uh, Where do you study English? Study English. Mm -hmm. Where do you study English? Give me one more. Give me one with... When? Uh, 
una pregunta when, muy buena. When do you come back to United States? Ajá, ese sería excelente para pasado. When did you come back from the United States? When did you, okay. Mm -hmm. Simple present, we use it for daily routine, que es rutina diaria, verdad general, que son cosas de la vida. Donde where, trabajo, where, do you, where do you work? Ya where do you pregunta. work? Ajá, uh -huh. good. We have it right here. Where do you work? Una pregunta con when. Um, when do you come? Cuando vienes. Hmm. Pongámosle, when do you party? Cuando, cuando vas, party lo podemos ocupar, es fiesta, pero lo podemos ocupar como verbo. When do you party? ¿Cuándo sales de fiesta? Um, give me one with what time. Deme una con what, what time, time do you go? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Ajá. ¿A qué hora vas? Pero ¿a qué hora vas dónde? What, what time, time do you go to the church? To church, ok. Vaya, guys. So, this is what we're going to do. Estas son sample questions. Son preguntas, ejemplo. We're going to open the break rooms and we're going to practice. Traten de hacerse esas preguntas y contestar con long answers. Ok? Ok. Very good. Accept the invites that you're going to be receiving in a second. Accept the invites, please. We got five minutes to practice. Ya les mandé la invitación. All right, good. Okay. You ask questions. Okay. Oh. Eh, Lizette. Uh, for example, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Okay. Roberto, where do you work? Good job. Mm -hmm. uh, I work in a supermarket. I work in a, in a supermarket. In, in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh huh. Now, more questions, please. Ask yourself more questions. You have a questions in the chat. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. hey, Johnny. Sí, Johnny. What time do you go to the park? I go to the park at 3, 3 p.m. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, vamos a hacer algo. Al que le pregunten, tiene que hacer otra pregunta. El orden de, las, de, de los participantes va Johnny, Lisette, Roberto. So, Johnny le pregunta a Lisette, Lisette a Roberto, Roberto a Johnny. Okay. 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 What time is it? Hello. What time is it? What time is it? That, that's a good question, Johnny, but that will be with the verb to be. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Let me see. All right, continue practicing. Let me check on the other group. And at 8.55, we go back to the main room. Pero tratamos okay. de imprimir okay. la velocidad. Uh, Campo Verde 3. <laughs> okay. Um, where? Um, no, otra. Where, no, no. Si no. Um, what? Eh, eh, what time eh, diner you dine, diner? What time do you have dinner? Ah, es dinner, okay. 
Uh -huh. Repeat it, please, Blanca. What time do you have dinner? What time do you have dinner? Dinner. Mm -hmm. dinner. Good job. Uh, okay. Uh, Sometimes I I have a dinner at six p.m. Okay. And you question me. Okay. And you ask me. Ask Nick. Uh -huh. Ask Nick. Okay. What time do you get up home? Uh, what, what time do you get home? Get up es como levantarse para levantarse okay. de la cama. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. okay. What time get do home. you get home? Uh -huh. A la hora que salgo. A la hora que, que llega a casa. Ah, okay. I get, get, get home. Get home at uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay, where do you live? Uh, I live in Santo Tomás. Okay, what time do you take a shower? Um, ¿A qué hora me baño? <laughs> <risa> es que es que mi audio a veces se, se oye cortado, perdón. Ok, don't worry. <risa> Repeat, please. What time do time, you take? What time? time, what time, hay, what que cerrar, time hay que cerrar el sonido de la M. Time. 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 What time? Los labios. What time do you uh, take a shower? Take a shower. Take a shower. Hey, take a shower. Es que esa última, how do you say in Spanish? ¿A qué hora se baña? Ah, okay. Ah, pues sí, estaba en lo cierto. Este, hay, yes. hay, eh, eh, ¿qué, qué grapstas? I take okay. a shower. I, I take a shower at at, uh, at uh, six uh, six p.m. p.m. Okay. All right. Very mm. good, guys. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. All right, so we're going to get the people back. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for being a part of this class. This class was very important because we were able to cover uh, simple present questions. We didn't have much time to practice because uh, it's, it's a long topic, and I really hope that you have understood. Espero que hayan podido entender bastante de cómo ocupar el simple present. Um, remember, you can always type simple present examples, boom. And you can have different links, diferentes links para que ustedes puedan practicar. All right? So thank you very much for being a part of this class today. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and on behalf of Ingres Corporativo, I want to say thank you very much. I'll see you Monday, because remember, there are no classes tomorrow. No se conecte mañana, que mañana ni yo me voy a conectar. Okay? Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. Right, thank you, teacher. Have a good one. Good remember, night. practice makes perfect. Take care. Okay, take, take care. You. Take well, care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.